Hi, I'm Kevin Stanley. I'm chair of the Tonopah in 2021 Bid Committee, a bid to bring the 74th West Coast Science Fantasy Conference to Tonopah, Nevada. We're here at the Mizpah Hotel, our projected headquarters hotel, and I have here with uh, Ray Graham, the hotel supervisor, and her wife, uh, Kayla Brocious, who works at the adjacent Mizpah Club Casino as a cage cashier and bartender. Yep. And we're here to ask you some questions about Westercon and how it might interact with the Mizpah. So uh, how long have you been working here at the Mizpah? Well, we've only been here a short time, but it's been a really welcoming community for us. We moved here from Oklahoma and it has been an incredible change. There's a lot of openness here and a lot of welcoming people, even for being such a small town. You know, they're used to a lot of different people coming through because we have such a large tourist trade. So um, we have, just in the last week alone, we've had people from all over internationally even. And so um, it's just a really awesome place to be, I think. Okay. Well, what did you think about the possibility of uh, Westercon coming here in 2021? I was very excited when you brought it up. Um, I'm kind of a sci-fi fan, so... I get really excited about things like steampunk and all anything related to all of that world. Um, so I got really excited and I started talking to some other people and it seems to have sparked a lot of interest actually. So. Well, that's great. Well, um, then what other sorts of large groups has the MISPA hosted? Um, we've hosted a number of things. Just recently, we had the Nevada Arts Council out for the Basin to Range uh, Urban Exchange, which is an art program bringing art and culture more into the rural community. We had the entire hotel sold out our conference rooms. Um, we can accommodate quite a bit. And then by the time you guys will, are talking about being here, we'll have a whole second hotel to work with. Um, so we will have... Um, all kinds of accommodation. We have had um, car clubs from Vegas. We've had um, horse shows. We have such a, a, a wide variety of groups and people that come through Nevada for different reasons. Um, we've had USGS teams out doing geological experiments. I have an archaeology team coming in next week and staying in our hostel. Um, so yeah, a little bit of all kinds from everywhere here. Great. Well, uh, Kayla, why don't I ask you this one here. Uh, as residents of Tonopah, how do you think the town will react to having a few hundred diverse fans of science fiction and fantasy literature coming to town for several days? Well, I think first off, everyone here kind of has their own quirks. Everyone's a little eccentric, and I don't think that it will necessarily be off-putting to have people that, I don't know, are unique are unique. That is a good word. I like that word. Everyone is, and it's just pretty much widely accepted throughout town. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, the Tonopah bid has said that they anticipate using a programming theme emphasizing the intersection of science fiction and fantasy with the Old West. How do you think Tonopah will work well with that theme? Oh, I think we're uniquely situated, um, if for no other reason than the ambiance of the Mizpah itself. It is a historic hotel. It's been very carefully renovated to be turn of century. Um, and so the environment here is particularly nice. But we also have beautiful things like the Old West Cemetery. Uh, the Tonopah Mining Park up here behind us that show slices of everyday life from that time period. But we are also in a position of having a tremendous amount of paranormal experiences that happen here, alien encounters that people talk about. So there is already an, an intersection of the Old West and sci-fi fantasy here happening in Tonopah already. Okay. Well, our last question then is, is there anything special you think the Mizpah itself can bring to a Westercon in 2021? I think the Mizpah is the perfect place to be your host because of the restoration, because of the ambiance here, because we actually really care about the history of Tonopah and the spirit of the West that still exists here. Well, Ray and Kayla, I 
very much thank you for your time and I very much hope the people watching this will recognize that this is a place you want to be for Westercon 74. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.